What is going on, everybody? Canuck here, and welcome to another PGA Tour 2K23 preview video. And today, we are going to dive into some more difficult and challenging golf. Although in my career mode video, when I was just on pro, you could see I struggled mightily. I think that was just a not a great round, focusing on other things. But today, we're focused, we're ready to score as well as we possibly can, and we're going to try to do this on Master Difficulty today. So I want to show you settings, I also want to show you my skills and the archetype I have chosen for today's round, which will be at Echo Park Golf Club, which is one of the courses I was able to design for PGA Tour 2K23, and you will find it hosting the Champions Invitational in the career mode. So let's jump in and we'll take a look at difficulty before we get started. All right, here we are at the difficulty screen. And as you can see, I will be playing on master. The XP multiplier is at 2.04. So it's quite up there, as you can see. Uh, distance control meter, distance control assist is off. All this provision stuff is off. Only thing really helping us here are the green grid and we will have the wind display on. But otherwise, no real help other than that. So this should be a challenging round for us. All right, here we are at the My Player Skills screen. And as you can see, I am only at a level 11. So we have not had a lot of time to really get in and look at some of these. Well, we haven't had any chance to look at some of these top skills and see how they're affecting our golfer. But we've tried to sprinkle our very few skill points where I'm hoping it matters most shaping. So I'm, I'm really looking to see if we can draw or fade the ball more with the driver. A few little iron skills here, some spin Okay, with this perfect pitch I have up to level two. Now, what I am predicting is I think a lot of the top golfers will be will be focusing on these momentum skills, which are skills that turn on for good play as you would kind of expect. They're going to play good. They want those skills on when they're playing well. Uh, so these are this column of skills. They're also the skills here and the ones right before the passive skills. So obviously these passive skills, there's going to be a lot of focus on these and trying to determine where all of your skill points are going to be allotted. Again, you only have 50 to spend. So people, it's going to be really interesting to see how the community dives in and allots these skill points based on their archetypes. Is there going to be a meta that evolves? Who knows? At this point, there's just not enough testing to really see if that's going to be a thing or not. I kind of hope it's not. I hope people are going to be playing different skills and archetypes based on how they want to play the game. But again, time will tell. All right, we're here at the archetype screen. And for most of my testing, I've been using the powerhouse. I just want to see how far I can hit the ball, obviously. I want to mix it up. I want to go with a rhythm build today. As you can see, not a lot of power, but I'm getting a lot of help on that timing and swing path. I really want to compare how rhythm plays versus powerhouse. All right, so we'll take a look at the golf bag that I'm going to be running today. So I do have the driver with an epic head fitting on it. So it's not helping the power out. We're only maxed out at 274, which will be a bit of an issue because Echo Park I've designed is a bit of a longer course. So we will see how we fare. 274 is still not terrible. Uh, and then we've got a whole bunch of boosts on our timing, swing path, shaping. So this is actually a pretty solid fitting for the driver. Uh, nothing on the fairway woods a little bit of help on the power with the hybrid but we are losing some timing and shaping and then the irons are stock I actually don't really have any iron fittings yet and uh pitching wedge sand wedge gap wedge we have a spin i think it's yeah it's more of a spin shaping one on so definitely some help with some spin there not sure why i don't have one on my pitching wedge but anyway that's fine and then uh the putter we do have a little bit of a uh, help with some putt path and putt weight based on our fitting. Again, a whole bunch more on fittings and how all these work in our My Player deep dive video. All right, and before we get started, we are going to play the back tees. We're going to play pin number one, and I am going to change the wind speed to high. Let's just add a little extra challenge today. And I think that is it. Let's get ready. As you can see, we got a purple shirt. We have upgraded from the default gray shirt. Yay. Still tons to unlock, but uh, we're, we've got to start. Our player looks a little bit better than the default golfer. So here we go. Echo Park Golf Club. 
All right, we are here on the first tee at Echo Park and really interested to see how this rhythm build stacks up. And if it is a little bit more, a little bit easier for me to uh, keep this ball in control, but we are sacrificing again quite a bit of distance. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. We do have a nice helping tailwind to get us started here on the first. And that is a beautifully hit shot. 325 with the wind. We don't need that extra power there. Well, the tailwind definitely helps, so. Okay, I'm going to hit the 8-iron in. A little bit of an uphill. 156. Oh, that might be... Ooh, I might be in between clubs here. Might be in between clubs, but... We're going to give this a go. There we go. That's hit well. So, tempo... Not a big issue here with this so far as we hit that quite well and we've got a little birdie putt here on the first Ooh, I hit that very hard ah uh, as I mentioned in our last video it uh, it's very easy to overcook putts in this game you have to be very careful with your touch oh my goodness wow that's a terrible three putt after getting it in really nice and close, but well, not great. Okay. On to number two, the par five along the water here. We're going to stay a bit away from the water. We do have a very nice helping wind on this par five, so. Nice wide fairway here. Well, I could lay up, but that's not much fun. So yeah, that... Ooh, boy. Actually, 3-wood won't even make it there. We're still 272 away. That is quite a distance, so we may have to lay up. I think we are going to lay up to nice, this nice little fat part of the fairway here. Oh, have I over... Oh, I hit this too far. That's a terrible layout. Not what I was looking for there. All right. Let's see if we can... Dial this pitch shot in. 77, 90 to 94. We do have some... A little bit of wind help. Ooh, I, did, I definitely felt fast on that one. No. No spin out of the rough there. Well, we had terrible tempo too, so that didn't help. All right. Tricky downhiller for birdie. Oh, I've hit that really hard too. Hit the hole. No. No, 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 no. All right. Whoa, I really got to work on my uh, my putting. Seems like I'm just hammering everything. So I need to be careful with that. All right, here on the third. And I am definitely noticing, obviously, having that 274 driver is... Definitely a challenge, as I'm used to in 2K21 having my 290-yard driver. So having these longer shots in actually is kind of refreshing. I do feel like I do have quite a bit more control than I on the powerhouse build. But it will be really interesting to see kind of at the top end uh, the really competitive golfers is, is how much of a difference will those stock archetypes actually be. Again, I haven't quite done enough testing on that yet. Not a bad shot to the center of the green. We've got 24 feet. Let's see if we can actually hit a better putt here. Uh, I was a bit scared on that one. Yeah, I was terrified of to over hit that. All right, we're still at one over. This is going to be a long hole. Uh, two, seven, six here. Yeah, this is going to take another mighty second shot in. But comfortably in the fairway. Still leaving us 170 into this really, really tough back pin placement. I, I really enjoyed making this course. It was something very, very different from what I'm used to building. But uh, I was given a course to try to emulate or try to get close to a few courses. And uh, this is what I came up with. A bit more of a traditional Canuck course. So I hope you guys enjoy it when you load up the game. 
Oh, what has happened there? I got the 106 power, if you saw that. 106 power, and we lost it there. Skipping with no power meter. Definitely a little trickier. That is very nicely done. Bingo! Saves the par. As we are grinding this out here, difficulty feels, it, it feels really, really good. Um, still, still, again, a lot of testing to be done, but I, I, I would say, if anything, the overall difficulty is probably a little bit easier than master difficulty on 2K21, which, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see a lot of the top guys playing quite a bit at legend difficulty. I would not be surprised. I'm losing tempo a bit. And there's another 106 power. As we're really trying to stretch these out as far as we possibly can. I wish I could tell you what's causing me to get the 106 power, but uh, at this point, not quite sure yet. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, this looks good. It's on a line. Just gonna roll past. Oh, quite a ways past still. 10 feet past, in fact. Try to clean up. Oof. It was coming in with pace, but we're okay. As we continue on that par streak. This is one of my favorite holes. Uh, however, with the short driver, this is playing more of kind of how I designed it. Like this. Hmm, I think we're just going to hit three wood. Oh, terrible swing there. But we're going to get away with it. Because the wind is blowing quite heavily from right to left. So we do get away with that. We've got 90 yards in here. Are we going to hit the pitch? Or are we going to hit a lob, 95-yard lob wedge? We might try this wedge here, the 109. And see if the wind kind of knocks it down. Oh, five power. Must be taking the stick back more than I usually am, and I'm really long there. Okay, well, we're gonna have to try to splash this out. Bit of a partial there. Partial swing. Trying to time that as best I can. So for those wondering why how I'm playing kind of without the distance meter is you get a really slight rumble where you're kind of at the spot you need to be. But trying to time that is, <laughs> I find it quite difficult. Well, we did not hit that shot right into the fifth. And the short par four takes our lunch money here. All right, we've got a long uphill par five into the wind with a short driver. This is going to be a definite three shot hole. And I don't know what happened there, but this hole's going to just about gotten even longer. All right, ooh, 59 to 71 with the hybrid. But uh, we've got five iron gives me to 65 to 77. So we're just going to try to knock it into the fairway. That's a much better swing. Okay. Six iron up 27. Hmm. Just, I don't, this is 178. I don't think that's going to be quite be enough. I think we're going to take a little bit off a of five iron here. Oh, I hit that very well. I love that flush sound when you hit it perfect. But again, I get the 104 power. Little bit of help coming down the hill there. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. But a chance for our first birdie of the day. Get in there. Come on. Oh! And then we roll it way by again. All right. All right. Really struggling to get anything going here. We head to the long par 3 eighth hole. 221 yards today. Slightly downhill. Five hybrid or five iron. I've got quite a gap between my clubs, but I think the five iron is going to be the club. Hit that pretty well. A little to the left. 103 power this time. Not as much roll as I would have liked. Ooh. 
rolling the wrong way. Hmm, 39 feet up the hill. Trying to be very, very careful with my speed. I'm short. Just having trouble with my putting tempo here right now. Still waiting for our very first birdie of the day. As we're two over through eight. Coming up to the very tricky long par four ninth. 491 yards from the tips. And we give that a ride. Right down the middle of this narrow little pinched fairway there. But we still have 219, no, 213 in. But uh, I think this headwind's going to help us a bit. Oh, I've hit that very nice. Power at 105, though. Really having trouble controlling that. I'm just getting a little bit of extra power everywhere. And not quite sure how I'm controlling it. Again, this would be an auto chip in for a lot of players in 2K21, but uh, honestly, I, I feel much more confident with the putter. So we're going to putt off the green or putt off the fringe here. Uh, well, the weight was good, at least. And we're going to tap in for a two over on the front nine. Two bogeys, seven pars. Time to turn things around, and we're going to try to on the long par 5, 10th hole, almost 600 yards, slightly uphill, but we do have a tailwind. And we're not... Oh, no. Oh, get over the... We might get over the bunker and get a kick to the right here. That is exactly what we get. Perfect. Okay, three wood, I think, is going to get us here. If we hit this perfectly, very well guarded green here. Hmm. This should be enough. If I hit this just right. Oh, ho, ho, I like it. I like it. It left a little bit. Ooh, didn't. Oh, it might. I knew I had the right number. Based on the wind and the club in my hand, and I made that happen. Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot there. <laughs> I'm a little worried about this one. Get in. Oh! The putter is failing us here today. All right, our first birdie. We finally get through with one as we head to the par 4 11th. that well we've got a headwind to deal with but that's all right probably a couple clubs up here i'm hitting a six iron here the wind has stayed pretty steady at 12 i think the whole round actually usually it fluctuated a little bit in 2k21 i think it still does in this game but i haven't noticed it today Ooh, right over come back a bit no not gonna come back this is a terrifying downhill putt. One foot down the hill. Oh my goodness. Hit the hole, please. Hit it. Oh, so close. And it just continues to roll out to 10 feet. Did I push it? No. Nope. Okay. We're good. We're good. We tap in for the par. Actually, that wasn't a tap in. All right, the short par 3 12th coming up. A very shallow green, so we have to be absolutely dialed in this shot. Ooh, I hit it slow, but it's coming around a bit. 105 power again. Hmm, struggling with that power control. All right, we're going to try to nestle this one up. Oh, <laughs> And that's what how even if you just over hit it a bit, it just ex seems to explode off the club. Short game, I'm still learning. As it has changed by far the most. Oh, man. Get this. All right, we have to make a heck of a putt just to save our bogey there, but we do. Hmm. We're back to plus two on the round. All right. 
This is a monster. <laughs> With this rhythm build, it's a par four, 504 yards from the tips into the wind. I, I'm not even sure we're going to be able to get, able to get here in two, are we? 74. <laughs> we could give a driver off the deck a try. 78 to 79. Hey, why not? Let's give it a go. Oh, I hit it perfectly. Ooh, this could be okay. No! Oh, we get robbed with that bounce, but we hit it so well. Ah. All right. Nice, easy touch here. Ooh, no spin coming out of there. All right. Chance for us to save our par. Can I make it? Yes. Back of the cup. We're all right. Phew. All right. 14. Big dog leg here. I really, really want to get under par here, guys. Come on. Oh, no. Terrible swing. But it's a big, wide fairway. However, this leaves us with a beefy approach into this back pin here. 168. Uh, I don't mind this distance, actually. I've been hitting them 103s, 104s, so... I do that again. I got a 105. No. Nope. Ooh, bad bounce there, too. All right, we're going to try the chip here. As you can see, the chip extends out to 25 yards in this game, so... Try a chip. A little bit more realistic there. I like, I like that you're going to be able to use the chip a little bit more. It's an okay... Okay, leave. Nine feet. Cleaning it up. Another par for us. We got four holes to go. Uh, I'm trying to think ahead as I've designed this course. Not a lot of birdie opportunities coming down the stretch, to be quite honest. The back, the last few holes are a bit more on the difficult side. There's a 107 power coming out of the chute. That actually might be too much now. Oh, no, that extra 7% kills us. Ah, what I don't like there is it still defaults to the pit shot, which is a bit of a bummer. 71 to 83, so I don't have a very good lie range stat, so I'm getting a real big discrepancy. Could be If it's 71 and 83, that's a huge discrepancy, so I really don't know how this is going to come out of the rough here. This is a bit of a scary shot, especially with a tailwind and water at the back. Ugh. There's more on the low end, it looks like. Okay. Decent bounce. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Not bad from there. Not too bad from there at all. Hit that pretty hard. Oh, this looks good. Go in. Yes! We finally made a big putt. It only took 14, 15 holes. 15 holes. Finally. Ooh, that one felt good. See the replay there. Beautiful pots. The fist pump. We're loving it. That gets us to one over. We are chasing even par. Oh, that music's great. Hadn't heard that, actually. 20 or so hours. I've yet to hear that little riff there. Huh. I can't remember if I said this in previous videos, but uh, the menu music in this game i'd buy a soundtrack <laughs> to be quite honest i usually turn the mu menu music off in the old games but uh this one is uh special so ooh, this is right at it there's a pot there's a shot okay all of a sudden we're figuring out how to play golf here at the end oh i hit this too hard didn't i oh ooh, that was close the two big birdies, right when I said, ah, there's no more birdie holes, we just make two in a row. All right, it is a tough finish here. 17, long par five. Trying to stay away from the water. Not that far away from the water, though. Oh, it's coming back. Wind's pushing it back. All right, that's just fine. Okay, five iron, 188, 201. Yeah, I like this. Uh... Okay, that was clearly a miss with my distance there. This is going to be a nightmare, this putt. <laughs> so let's see if we can just lag it up there. Massive, massive break here. I'm just going to try to put it 20 feet to the right and just kind of let it 
fade run down here. I think I've already put way too much on this. Oh, actually, coming down all right. I will take that. Uh, that's a tough putt, but I'll take that. I'm having a lot of fun this round trying to fight par. This is an absolute grind for me. I, I am really enjoying this difficulty. I've been all over the place. I played a few rounds of Master. I I I can shoot four or five under par if I'm playing quite well. But uh, yeah, this this is a bit of a tougher course and we're struggling to fight par. And I'm really enjoying this challenge here. Again, this could be, you know, I'm early in the game and all that. But uh, if this is how the difficulty stays for a while, I'm all in on this. That's a terrible swing. Pushed it to the left. Get, uh, well, I don't think we could have gotten there in two anyway. So we're just going to lay up. Here on the par 5 18th. And a terrible layup. Did not take into the account the heavy rough at all. That ball, you see the bounce in the bunker there? That was... A little bit more of a bounce in the bunker just doesn't stick to the bunker kind of like it did in the old games so uh, i like that a lot all right how is this going to come out 103 oh i didn't hit that well at all either okay we got to get up and down here or our dreams of even par are maybe dashed oh i hit this too hard hit the pin oh uh, no it's gonna come down to this putt here a 17-footer breaking towards the water here. We make this. We do fight it back to even par. Get in there, baby. Get in there. Yes, 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 yes. No! Thought it was going to drop side door. It doesn't. We do take a bogey. And we dropped a plus one. That was a really fun round. I'm not just saying that because it's my course or anything, but it's a lot of fun. Really chasing par there. I had a lot, a lot, a lot of fun there. Um, that rhythm build, definitely, I wasn't hitting as many really bad tempos, but that distance, that 20 yards, I didn't realize it was going to be as big of an issue, but I will definitely be trying to look at some power fittings to try to get those on my club to see if I can max that, uh, power out a little bit more, because, yeah, too, really struggling with that 274, at least right now. Okay, so we're up to level 12, so I've unlocked another skill point, it looks like. And let's see what we get for fitting. Ooh, okay. So we have received some epic ball pack. We'll have to give these a try. Uh, the red line balls. So definitely upgrade in flight, but a drop in spin and a roll. So interesting. And then 250 VC. Cool. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this round here on Master. Again, please leave any comments down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. And in the next video, we're going to take on the top difficulty. Let's see how we get on in Legend. So thank you guys again. We'll see you next time.